how are you guys welcome back to my youtube channel uh hope you are doing well uh, today we'll be looking at block bricks right which is uh mechano techniques in six okay right and then if uh, it's your first time watching my video may you kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and become the part of the family all right and then, then if you have not subscribed may you kindly subscribe so here we've given um you need 2.3 uh block bricks a block bricks it's a shoe made of wood or metal uh which friction material on the contact surface all right the plot peak is mounted on the actuating lever of a on a pivot when a force is applied to the lever the block is pushed against the drum the drum is either attached to an actuation lever or mounted on the head okay nevertheless we'll see this they say there are two types of uh, of bricks here we have a single blo uh, block bricks you have a double block bricks mostly uh will be given to calculate the signal uh yeah this one yes we have this type but the calculation i think will use will be calculating most of the time actually we'll be calculating the signal one yeah we'll be calculating the signal block bricks we'll focus on that all right then there we've given the <clears throat> when the shoes come to contact with the surface of the drum there are three assumptions can be made the resultant normal force or cr is the normal force of the brick hanger on the shoe passes through a center line then the friction they say the friction uh the resultant friction is this it's a resultant friction if you see that new r this is a resultant friction um all right you must understand that is a uh, okay it's fine here it's our single block bricks as you can see guys when you see block if you see this just know guys it's a block brick you see that thing there if you see a block brick like that thing that i've highlighted that is your block if you see that just know you're dealing with block bricks given here there is a lever lining drum as you know this is a single one all right so this is a double we want to with double we won't deal with double i don't think we'll deal with double i never seen n6 calculating double bricks uh, i don't wanna lie i never seen that there's no double bricks here yeah, calculations for that uh n6 level i don't know but i'm sure that there's not a thing so block bricks calculation uh the following equation used to determine the magnitude of the forces applied to a block bricks uh the torque transmitted uh between the block bricks and drum is calculated by this here is a formula there the torque transmitted between the block and brick is given by torque is equal to mu k coefficient of friction multiplied by r which is was a normal force multiplied by small r which is a radius right radius of the drum r is a normal force there is a newton coefficient of friction coefficient of friction radius then the says again when we rearrange the formula the normal force is calculated by that when we rearrange the normal force is torque over mu mu r remember r um mu r the sorry the is not mu r guys mu r the small one uh all right mu r so this you calculate again the normal force this is a normal force as you can see r is a normal force here that is a normal force all right r small letter r is a radius so you must know this formula calculating normal force the torque all right so let me oh uh, guys so we have this typical question here uh sorry about that now uh, we have this typical question again here um 
with this typical question so i want us to apply what you've discussed this formula uh, this is an intro guys let us use this formula or just an intro we'll be dealing with this formula so uh, we have given example 2.4 c is a drum block uh, the drum of a block brick has a torque we've given torque 80 newton meter the normal reaction force of hand of 1500 so we have question one question one says uh the uh, calculate the diameter of the drum if the coefficient of friction is zero point if it's zero point three one the diameter of the drum so uh guys <coughs> number one we know that we've given the talk you know the talk is given by mu k r multiplied by radius you've seen this uh the aim is to calculate the radius remember diameter it's equal to two multiplied by what radius so just make r the subject i'll have torque then i'll divide by coefficient of friction multiply by r all right then what will be our radius we've given there the torque they say it they said the torque is 80 we have there 80 divided coefficient of friction is 0 0.3 all right 0 0.3 that is what we have the normal force is 1500 then multiply by the 1500 all right then what is our radius uh into which punch that will have this to be 0 0,178 uh, meter this is our radius so the diameter obviously would be diameter will be two times what the radius with two uh, substitute our radius there so this is our diameter will be equal to mm, we multiply this uh, simply zero comma three five six it's in what in meter all right nevertheless so if you want this to be in millimeter multiply by thousand d will be uh three five six millimeter this is what it is guys so so far guys uh <coughs> on this typical well this is simply just an introduction right so we'll see uh that is how we use that uh this is how we use that is how we calculate the torque there if you uh, that is how we apply the formula this is how we apply this typical formula let's say now um um where is this picture okay it's fine we have this for now then um in the next coming session i uh, want us to see when we're calculating uh, the talk transmitted now uh the talk transmitted remember that uh we have to calculate now the talk transmitted uh the talk transmitted if we have a lever if we've given something like this you know if you've given this all right so this is our we'll have this now the lever will be looking at these types of question in the next coming session make sure you've subscribed uh so that you'll be notified whenever i post a new video we'll, we'll post part two all right so guys thank you for watching uh do not forget to subscribe guys as i've said and feel free to like and share these videos to your fellow classmates